Look at this, will you? At centre ring, Kevin Martin awaits for the brute to come forward. He does so, and a side headlock is taken, and immediately Martin puts the brute into the ropes. But coming off the ropes, he hits him hard with the shoulder. Martin waits and body slams Brute Bernard and goes down to cover him, and the referee hits the canvas for one count. Martin's up again, side headlock. This, believe you me, as I said, wrestling fans, is going to be an exciting day on World Championship Wrestling with the matches we have in store for you. There's a drop kick there from Kevin Martin who puts Bernard down to the canvas. Bernard up on his feet now, a side headlock by Martin who tags Tambula. Max Tambula from Samoa. What an exciting program coming up for you wrestling fans. Off the ropes comes Tambula. Leapfrogs over Brute Bernard. Oh, a flying drop kick. Put Bernard down and Ox Baker. The heart puncher from Missouri jumps inside the ring, met by a flying drop kick from Tambula. And of course, as everybody knows, that heart punch has been banned here in Australia by Mr. Tony Colony and the National Wrestling Alliance of America. Ox Baker laughing his big head off there, looking straight at the camera, and slaps with a forearm to the head of Tambula. You may, there's a shot of J.J. Dillon, the manager of both. Ox Baker and Bernard as a warning count is put on by the referee in Rob Phillips. You can see those big eyebrows of Ox Baker every time he jumps inside that ring. Those eyebrows, they seem to curl up when he gets very close to the action. There's a flying mare by Brute Bernard. Comes down with that big forearm, with that leather guard around the forearm. He tells everybody he has a bad right uh, forearm, that's why he wears the leather guard, but by gee, it certainly helps him in some particular matches as he tags Ox Baker once more. There's a double leg lift by Bernard and Ox Baker and Tambula goes to canvas very hard. Ox Baker, oh, a big leg lift to the stomach, laughing as he goes. Tambula goes underneath with a left and a right, and Ox Baker standing it out there. Will he double up or Tambula's tag Kevin Martin? And Kevin Martin comes in onto Baker now. Left hand, right hand, look at Martin go, will you? Ox Baker, he buries the big fingers into the throat of Martin and tags Bernard. Baker, he's big. He's 320 pounds and six foot three and a half. But Bernard now, oh, Martin goes over with a magnificent back buddy slam there by Ox, by Brute Bernard. It was a backdrop as he comes in now. Takes hold of Kevin Martin by the hair and tags Baker. Baker jumps inside, all oh, forearms by both Bernard and Baker. And Ox Baker screaming out to Martin, give up, give up. The referee puts a question here to Kevin Martin, but there's a negative from Kevin Martin. Ox Baker, he's a big, mean, powerful man. As I said before, that heart punch has been banned here in Australia. He killed the two men in the United States with that heart punch. And Mr. Tony Colony and the NWA have declared it as a lethal weapon. Now Kevin Martin grabbing hold of that beard of Ox Baker as he kicks Martin to the chest, comes in with the big fingers around the throat about that nerve centre, and he has tagged Tambula. Tambula underneath onto Baker and chops one to the jaw and another one and a headbutt by Tambula and Brute Bernard comes in to be met by another headbutt from Tambula and another one to Baker. Baker goes over towards the blue corner and Kevin Martin with lefts and rights and there's a worried look of J.J. Dillon. Ox Baker slammed by Martin, 320 pound of it as Tambula works overtime on to Brute Bernard. Now it's Martin and Tambula. They whip them both at centre ring. They collide and ah, oh, Brute Bernard is tied up in the ropes and Baker hits the canvas hard. There's the count of two from the referee, but Ox Baker has the strength as Kevin Martin works now onto Ox Baker. Over in the neutral corner, the referee is trying to untie Brute Bernard, but they throw the big ox into Brute Bernard. He ricochets off Bernard and hits the canvas Tambula for the count of two, but Brute Bernard came in from behind and punched to the back of Tambula. A tag by Ox Baker onto Brute Bernard now, as Tambula's a little groggy here, is thrown into the whip by Brute Bernard and walks right into that high leg lift. And a tag to Ox Baker. There's a foot stomp by Ox Baker to the chest and the rib cage of Tambula. Tambula, lot light. Oh, Box Baker picks him up like a feather and slams him at centre ring and tags Brute Bernard. Jim Dillon on the outskirts of the ring, walking around, screaming instructions there to Brute Bernard. Swing him around, he said. 
And look at Dylan, will you? Have a look at Dylan. And there's the camel clutch. Camel clutch by Bruce Bernard. Is the match over? The referee putting the question here. But Kevin Martin comes in and slams one to Bruce Bernard. As the tag is taken here by Ox Faker. What an opening match on World Championship Wrestling. The hard punch. Is he going to throw that hard punch? The referee puts a warning on him. It is barred. And Dylan screaming out to Ox Faker. Throw it, throw it, said Dylan. Into the turnbuckle goes the head of Tambula. Ox Baker follows it up now. Moves over towards Fruit Bernard and the head of Tambula hits Bernard's knee hard and the tag takes place. Now, Fruit Bernard takes Tambula and punches him to the side of the face. Dylan moves around and gives instructions here to Bernard and tags the big ox. Now the big ox jumps inside the ring. Oh, a kick to the stomach by the Ox, but Tambula goes underneath, and another one underneath. Hits him hard upstairs, and another one on the left by Tambula downstairs, and the Ox has had enough. He's tagged Brute Bernard, who comes in from behind. Holes there, Tambula, as Ox Baker kicked him into the chest. Bernard takes him by the hair, throws Tambula into the ropes. He comes off the ropes and runs into the big leg again. Another tag to Ox Baker. Baker comes off the middle strand with a big elbow over Tambula. With a win to Ox Baker, Bruce Bernard over Kevin Martin. Larry O'Day has been working, I don't know, days around following up his opponent now, making the move. He takes the fingers and O'Day is quite surprised by the move there of Kid Hardy. And O'Day has gone down there now to canvas. The referee hits the canvas with O'Day, checking to see if those shoulders have not been pinned. I mentioned to you about Wayland this coming Wednesday and people in Victoria at the Horsham Town Hall on the 18th of this month and the Ballarat Civic Hall on the 19th. So people in Victoria and the country areas look forward to seeing you at Horsham Town Hall the 18th of October for all your World Championship stars and Civic Hall Ballarat on the 19th of October. But it's O'Day now. Again, under the bottom strand of ropes with his feet, and the referee jumps in and calls for another break. They meet up at centre ring again. O'Day has that determined look on his face, and uh, Kid Hardy watches in surprise as O'Day, it's inside step over toe hole he put onto Kid Hardy then, but he hit canvas with him also. And again, the referee puts the question to Hardy. The right shoulder's not on the canvas. Kid Hardy tries to throw that right arm around the throat of Larry O'Day. O'Day still applying plenty of pressure to that left leg. It's a matter of Kid Hardy being able to put up with pain, and there's a big elbow from Larry O'Day, forcing that arm to come away from his head. And again, you can see that Kid Hardy is suffering quite a bit of pain here from O'Day's strength onto that left leg. The referee raises the right arm. He hasn't tapped the canvas as yet. Goes down, checks it out once. Moves around towards the bottom strand of ropes, and the referee again taps O'Day. Asked him to release the grip because his leg is under the bottom strand of ropes. And one thing you'll notice with O'Day, he will break clean when asked to by the referee. The point is, will Kid Hardy break clean? He backs away. Yes, he has. Both of their feet very quickly. Referee Phillips interferes, jumps in between them and calls from the wrestle on. Centre ring, referee's hold. Half Nelson by Kid Hardy, leg trip to canvas. Kid Hardy comes down with a big forearm to the chest of Larry O'Day and another one. And Kid Hardy applying plenty of pressure. A body press, he's tapped at once. The referee onto Larry O'Day, taken by the hair. Kid Hardy picks up O'Day. Forward body slam at centre ring. A big elbow dropped to the chest by Kid Hardy. Covers him for the body press. The count of two onto O'Day. But he had the strength to force Kid Hardy off. And look at that for forearm, will you? Boy, that was loaded. And canvas hit the back of Kid Hardy. There goes another one. And down he goes once more, Hardy. And Hardy this time is showing the effects of this hard battle he's had with Larry O'Day. A suplex, a vertical suplex. Down goes Kid Hardy. Body press. That's it. A beautiful vertical. Ten minutes we've been going in this match. And this is an extended time limit match. One fall, 15 minutes. Extended time limit. Now the referee calls for a break because the legs of Bulldog Brower are underneath the bottom strand of ropes. I don't know about you people at home being excited, but I certainly am because the tactics used by Dylan and Brower for so long could come undone here because Milano asked for this match. He's got it. And there he is pleading for mercy again. Have you ever seen anything like it before in your life? It's easy to talk. Then to get up there and give the action as Milano is proving now that he is as strong as any of them. And look at him go, laying those punches on and a headbutt by Milano. And there goes the groggy Brower back, punching into midair. And that's a buckle up job. 
by Milano and the high knee lift by Milano. Brower back to his feet, side headlock and a biff to the beat by Milano. And Brower, this could be the finish of him. Hope you're watching this, Ronnie Miller. This is the action you've got to give him next week. As we see the abdominal stretch now by Milano. The abdominal stretch. Can the Bulldog come out of it? Yes, he has. Oh, boy. 11 and a half minutes. You heard it from Jack Little, 11 and a half minutes. Coming in from behind now is Milano. On to the Bulldog. He takes him now over, rolls him around, hits him to the canvas. Two. Oh, close. That hand was halfway down. I can imagine King Curtis now watching on with Larry O'Day at this fellow because there's going to be some big action this week in World Championship Wrestling. And of course, King Curtis and Larry O'Day, being the best mates of Ronnie Miller, will be watching anxiously, trying to help Miller pick out the points that will be vulnerable to the big Bulldog Brower. And there's a headbutt by Milano on to Bulldog, who's staggering, staggering. Milano again, headbutt. He staggers once more to centre ring. Can Milano finish him? A high knee lift. And this time, he staggers to the canvas. A body press. The count of two. Oh, bad luck to Milano again. Getting on towards the 15-minute mark. Close. Must be time shortly. Headbutt by Milano. And the staggering groggy Bulldog Brower is in the abdominal stretch again. This could be it. Dylan on the outskirts of the ring watches. Hello. Oh, the referee has called. Has pulled Phillips in with him. He's pulled the referee in and allowing Milano to release the abdominal stretch. The referee is out and from the second strand, the Bulldog flies through the air. A big knee drop to the back of the neck on to Mario Milano. The referee's out. What's going to happen here? What a sensation. Milano watches as the Bulldog climbs to the second strand. Look at Dylan. Here comes Ronnie Miller. Miller comes in and look at the big champ go. Let's see. What's going to happen here as Brower gets up onto the steps and Dylan comes in from behind and Miller's into it. And here comes the King. Curtis is coming in. And look at Miller, will you? Laying it out here on to Bulldog Brower. King Curtis lending support there to Mario Milano. And there go he goes. There he goes. They're going to the dressing rooms. There they go. Dylan's had enough and still in the ring.